A former senior defence official and diplomat is calling for urgent action to protect Australians in China. That's after the ABC revealed that a Chinese consular official was named in a warrant as part of a foreign interference investigation by the Australian Federal Police. There's now concern the explosive move will worsen diplomatic tension. This evening, China called any allegations of political interference a malicious smear. Sean Rubenstein Dunlop from ABC Investigations reports. The delicate dance between Australia and China is in uncharted territory. An explosive foreign interference investigation linking these three men, a New South Wales MP, his political adviser, and now the ABC has learned warrants identify Chinese consul Sun Yen Tao. That is a bombshell. Uh, that will be, uh, frankly, electrifying through the national security community in Australia. Search warrants seen by the ABC reveal the federal police is investigating whether the Sydney consulate was involved in a plot by foreign agents to influence New South Wales politics. When asked about the revelations this evening, China's foreign ministry responded with 90 seconds of stony silence. Then... Some people in Australia are bent on hyping up anti-China sentiments and trying to grab headlines by smearing China and attacking China. The Australian government needs to act right now. It needs to warn Australians who are in China that they must be extremely careful, that they must uh, do nothing which attracts attention or might otherwise be seen to provoke the Chinese government. The federal government is indicating Chinese officials will not be prosecuted. Investigations that might be underway uh, relate very much to potential foreign interference activities uh, by publicised figures who have been identified in the media uh, who are Australians. The prime target of the investigation is John Jung, an Australian citizen, a prominent community leader, political staffer and now a suspected foreign agent. His boss, New South Wales Upper House MP Shalket Mosselman, has been suspended from the Labor Party. Both maintained their innocence. Police raided both men this year, seizing computers and phones from Mr Zhang containing communications with top Chinese diplomats. This investigation is the first test of Australia's strict new foreign interference laws. Mr Zhang could face up to 15 years jail if charged and convicted. It's high stakes too for Australian diplomats in China, scrambling to protect Australians and even themselves because of fears Beijing is exacting payback. Sean Rubenstein Dunlop, ABC News, Sydney.